Hey guys, Fletch here. Hi. Today I'm going to be showing you um, a little trick of the Razor Naga that most people don't know. I mean, it's an obvious trick, but it's something that some people don't know. And you can also see this uh, fake keyboard I have next to me. That's just going to be showing me, showing you guys what it's going to look like on your keyboard. So first you're going to go to your thumb grid view. And I'm going to use key number four, for example. But before we get into that, you guys see the keys P, what just happened? You guys see the key P, L, comma, M, K, O, I, J, N. All those keys you're definitely not going to reach all the way over to the keyboard for as a key binding. And 1, 2, 3, 4, you might use as key bindings because it's in reasonable reach. So I'm going to use single key 4 for a second. I can save key 4 on my keyboard. So why not I save it instead of have it key binded to the four on my mouse and the four here? Why not have that key binded to the K on my keyboard so then I save four on my keyboard for a different sort of key binding? So I'll show you an example. I'm going to go to single key, click on single key, click on K, OK. Now this is single key four, I mean K. So now, if I click 4 in my mouse, it's going to activate K, and look what's going to happen. And it brings me into this weird menu like that. See that? It's weird. I know. So now I'm going to move this out of the way for a bit. So now that this is that uh, single 4 key is K, not only is it saving me a button on my keyboard for a key binding, but it's also modifiable, so you can do Shift K or Shift Four on your mouse, basically, which is K, because key binded that way. Anyways, that's just a little tip and trick on the Razer Naga. If you want more videos, just comment me on them. Tell me what you want to know. Tell me what you want to need. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye. I need your love.